All right, welcome back to the Infernum Mode mod. This is the mod that adds an extra difficulty layer to Calamity. So far, things have been going well. We're three bosses down, we're one mini boss down. And in today's video, well, I've got a couple of things I wanna get done. Next up is the Crabulon fight, one of my favorite bosses in this mod. Very excited about that. And then we'll likely do the Brain of Cthulhu as well. Now, I do have a couple of side objectives that probably won't make the cut because it might be a little bit boring. I want to explore the jungle so that we're, you know, seeing more of the world, seeing what's out there and whatnot. And then I will probably build a couple more houses, maybe set up magic storage. Like I say, this is things that's it's probably not going to make the cut, all right? We're, we're skipping right past it. So just some small changes. I saw in the comments that you lot wanted me to use the Infernum mod boss health bar. Uh, we're now using it. Also, I've seen a lot of comments ask for the Infernum mode mod music pack. Uh, I still haven't enabled it. I need to do some research on it, essentially. I'm not too sure what the copyright surrounding that is. Like, they might be cool with people using it in their playthrough, uh, but that might not mean YouTubers. I don't know. Also, <laughs> what is this? Why have, you, why have you done this? I do quite like the idea of a big tree descending down into the jungle. If I remember right, there was that mock-up of, of Terraria 2 by Red, and I'm fairly certain this this had something like this. Also, what is this? A bezoar. Oh, no, that is kind. That is really kind. And also, can we appreciate the fact that they essentially give you a man-made structure for the queen bee. Now, does this make me nervous for queen bee? Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, nothing about this looks promising. Nothing about this says, oh, you know what? I'm sure you'll have a great easy time. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Uh, I do not know yet. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is like another structure created by the mod itself, because apparently that one in the desert that we saw in the last video that was also mod related. Now I very almost passed up on this enchanted shrine because I was like, well, this is too obvious. We also don't need an enchanted sword right now, but I've come down here and it's a brand new structure, or at least I'm assuming it is. Maybe inside it's just the enchanted sword. Let's see. No, it is something new. It's the trinket of chi or chai. Uh, I've got no idea. Uh, provides 10% damage reduction after not being hit for 15 seconds. Uh, cool. Uh, I will. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use it, but the the build here looks looks really fancy. Now I was going to do Crabulon in this biome because you know it's it's large, but I feel like this one might be even better uh, because this one is also large, but it's also flat. So it's like you know we we don't have to modify it so much. So I'm just building out the uh, arena now. I'm not too sure like how I want to do this because. I've got like a middle layer, so the idea is that Crabulon will be down here, I'm up here. Maybe Crabulon's jumping between the two, but then also so am I. But I might, I'm going to see how it goes, because I might need to change this and uh, and put a platform lower down and then a second one above. I guess, I guess we're going to learn quick. You know, it, it doesn't take long to, to build an arena, does it? All right, cool. So we've got an anklet now. To be honest, that's really what I wanted from the, the jungle today. I want to make sure that we're making like the absolute best of everything. So like there's a boot upgrade that we can make. Will it help with Crapulum? I don't know, but like we got to make it. I guess in Calamity, there's so many end game upgrades that you can make. Like the boots that you make now, you'll be wearing at the end of your adventure but you'll have like 50 more ingredients. So staying on top of that, I think is uh, it's going to be crucial as we play. So I guess in a minute, we're going to do Crabulon. And I am, I'm just so hyped. Okay, two in a row, not bad. Now my voice keeps cracking today. So like bear with if it happens during this fight. Uh, I was going to make a new weapon, but one of you actually left me a comment that said you used the Storm Surge during this fight and it kind of carried you through. So I was like, all right, may as well give it a go. I mean, we can always craft something new if we need to. So let's uh, let's buff up. Let's uh, let's let's get in the zone, and we shall uh, begin. Crapulon. It's it's the best. Okay, so this is the uh, the new boss health bar. Have a little look at that. It's quite cool. It's not bad. So I assume uh, it's uh, it's counting down the different phases of the fight because that seems to be. Oh, okay. Now that's interesting. That seems to be the thing with this mod. Uh, there's lots of different phases. Okay, that, that one wasn't too bad. So it gives you these little warnings. I really like the uh, the spores. They look they look great. And we want to stay within these uh, confines when possible. Now, 
I will I will admit, this seems like one of those fights where uh, I am I'm wigging my way through it a little bit. And there's probably going to have to be a refight where I potentially learn the AI. Whoa! Now that I was not expecting. Oh, now that is glorious. Okay, nobody mentioned actually adding arms to the Krabulon fight. Oh, well, you should have told me sooner. I wouldn't have waited so long. Now that's actually wild, though. So once again, for this, and when it comes to this, uh, this dodging part, I'll be real, I am absolutely winging my way through this fight. There is no precision going on here. I'm getting lucky with where I'm flying and whatnot. I'm not really thinking of... Yeah, there you go. I mean, I deserve that, right? Here I am going, oh, look at me. I'm winging my way through it. I don't get killed. Try focusing on those crab shrooms. Uh, they'll overwhelm you if you leave them alone. So we've managed to get his claws out once again, uh, but my, yeah, my health is low. That, <laughs> all right, okay. If I can reliably get to that part of the fight... Then I know it's like a matter of, uh, you know, just moving a little bit better. All right, so I've managed to get the, the claws out once again. I'm going to attempt, say, six or seven now. I've mainly been focusing on getting better at the first half so that we don't lose too much health. Uh, because that phase there with the uh, columns is the ones that I've been uh, struggling with the most. Because I'm finding I'm getting locked in by the columns and then not actually avoiding the boss. Which is so crucial. I mean, it makes sense, right? Okay, we got a little bit of a uh, rage here, so let's use it. But I'm just finding a nice natural rhythm. Another little thing I've, I've got to be worried about is uh, I've taken off my uh, lucky horseshoe for a different accessory that increases uh, jump speed. So I've, I've just got to be careful with uh, with fall damage. And I'm noticing I'm, I'm still kind of taking it. Okay, I'm, I'm one hit away from death. This isn't great. I'm probably going to die. Wait. Yeah, I knew I was going to die there. <laughs> I knew that was I knew that was a recipe for failure, that one. Okay, so I think I'm doing a, a lot better on this one. I don't want to jinx it. I mean, every time I talk... Oh, no, it's done. <laughs> all right. All right, not bad. Not bad. I mean, I guess... <laughs> okay, right. The adrenaline's a bit high right now. I should probably probably calm it for a second oh god i just i love that bite so much i really do i had to be silent during that and i feel like that's gonna be gonna have to be a theme throughout this you know like we we show the fight we we get to a certain point i focus in and we and we carry on you know we'll we'll see what happens but i, I reckon that's the style the thing I'm, I'm most nervous for though is skeletron everybody says that skeletron is where the difficulty spike just you know, just just jumps into the stratosphere. So, the fact I, I mean, that was that was seven or eight attempts on Crapulon. Oh, it's it's going to be bad. It's also going to be good. I am very excited. Okay, so uh, here's the the relic. I've, I got rid of the master mode ones. I don't know if you saw. Uh, we got the law. I'm not I'm not a big law reader. Just for anybody wondering, if you do want to read the law, it's it's all on the wiki. Okay, right, treasure bag. Bam. What do we get? We got the. Mycel mycelial claws, uh, 21 true melee damage. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Uh, we got the fungicide, converts musket balls into fungal rounds that split on death. Now, this I'm very excited about. Look at that. Oh, it's actually kind of glorious. Uh, we got the... What else we get? We got the fungal clump. This is a, an iconic uh, thing. Love it. And we got the micro root as well. Uh, so I'm going to put these ones away because we're, we're not using them. Oh, wait. We need this one. This uh, is a rage buff. Cool. Right. Uh, it's Brain of Cthulhu next. I am... <laughs> I said I was nervous a minute ago. I'm actually nervous for this because obviously we don't have like a giant arena for this one. And I am I'm terrible at Brain of Cthulhu just in general because I don't do it too much. So we're going to give the Brain of Cthulhu a go. But I do have a gut feeling that's like our arena probably isn't wide enough. Because I find when uh, I play a modded Brain of Cthulhu, most people double down on the, the little minions. I can't remember the name of them. Uh, and I find that if you have, like, a big wide arena, you can avoid those a lot better. And I think mainly this is because I've been playing Legendary Mode a lot recently. And that's kind of the case in, in Legendary Mode. Right, so I'm trying to remember how many we blew up. I think it was... Yeah, it was only one. Okay, good. I will use the, the Crimson Rod. Why not? Let me slap that bad boy down. Um, I've got my little eyeball. Okay, we'll, we'll come down here then. And uh, we'll throw two of these. Or three. We're going to buff up, and we'll see what happens. Okay, 
Now, this is not what I was expecting. You've got the brain of Cthulhu. Uh, oh, gosh. Here I am going, oh, they'll probably double down on the minions. There are no minions. So I imagine we have to stay within the circle. Whoa, <laughs> okay, okay. Stay within the circle. Obviously avoid uh, these little icor shots because they're clearly not great. Our health is, is obviously very low right now and that is not ideal. Um, okay, this this is bad. I am, once again, this is something I'm winging my way through and I'm not doing a very good job of it. What, what was the takeaway from that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Gosh, our arena was bad though, wasn't it? We we, we definitely need to work on that. Uh, there was a lot going on there, a lot. I might have to do a couple fights with this and, and really kind of, uh, you know, figure it all out. So we do have some vertebrae and I imagine we probably have some mushrooms as well. So we'll make a permanent summon so then we can just, uh, just do it better. But do we just try it on the surface? Okay, so, uh, so let's give this a go on the surface then. Let's see if it's any different. Uh, in terms of the Infernum mode mod, I feel like it's doing a pretty good job with this fight already. Like, I'm excited to see how how brutal this gets. Uh, okay, right. Let's begin. The Brain of Cthulhu, that's right. Uh, I don't know, whoa, okay, it's quick. It's real quick. I don't know what uh, weapon I really wanna use. I can't fully tell like what's good and what's not quite yet because I'm not really paying too much attention to the uh, to the DPS meter as I as I do this. Okay, so interestingly, and I didn't notice this the, the first time we did it, it's the actual uh, little summons that are shooting out those uh, eye call shots. So I've just got to keep that in mind that they shoot from a similar place. Okay, I don't know what our DPS is, but I feel like this fight is going on for some time. Now this might be because this fight, I can see the little boss health bar down there. It might just be that it doesn't have many phases. But looking at that, it looks like it does. <laughs> it looks like it has three. I might be reading it wrong because I'm not fully looking at it. Oh wait, no, we might be onto the final phase now. That might be a thing. Whenever it comes to the brain of Cthulhu, the real trouble is where it just starts teleporting and going invisible. Okay, a laser beam. I, I, <laughs> this is bad. Okay, keep dashing about, keep dashing about. It's going in a circle. Whoa, okay. Now, I really feel like in this video, the mod has come alive. Like, I feel like the, the first two videos does not do this mod justice at all. Okay, laser beam. Laser beam. Laser beam. <laughs> Avoid it. It's going on a while, though. Oh, okay. Nah, this is, this is neat, man. Uh, this is good. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Seems like it's just kind of going back to normal. Big laser beam bigger laser beam. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love it. I actually love it. I'm having a great time with this. I truly am. I like that, how it gives you all these uh, duplicates, so then you gotta... That was great. I'm sorry. That was that was an actual bop. That might be my favorite one we've done so far. I loved it. I loved it. Um, what, I, what I like so far about the mod is the AI is, is fair in a way where some of the attacks, like the laser beam attack, it gave you a good amount of warning, like, hey, there's going to be a laser beam here. Like, it wasn't just like, okay, laser beam. Like, I like that. It gives you a little bit of thinking time, uh, especially because the thing is, is this could be set up where it goes, okay, um, once you've learned the AI, you'll know there's going to be a laser beam. But this mod is so far is like, okay, look what we're doing here. Can you react quick enough? Which is nice because, like, I just had a great first fight against that boss. I mean, it was the second fight. Could you imagine doing that underground? <laughs> like, that would have been actually awful. Okay, so treasure bag, brain of confusion, tissue samples, crimtain ore, all very neat stuff. I kind of burnt through these two a lot quicker than I was expecting. And so the next boss is actually the perforators. Now, we do have an interesting choice to make here because obviously we can now make crimtain items and whatnot, but it looks like there actually isn't anything new to make that would follow along with what we've already got. So we could make a Deathbringer pickaxe and get Hellstone and then use Hellstone items, or we try it with what we've got because I do know that there is an upgrade after the Perforators. I think it's Aerolite, 
So I might try and see how we get on, and then if I'm struggling, just keep upgrading. Okay, so one has popped up, so uh, let's shoot it. And we'll give this a go. I'm going to treat this as a, as the warm-up. We're going to see what it's like, what we're up against, and then we'll try and do our own balancing. Okay, so this is a fight, I will admit, that I cannot remember too much about. So when it comes to Inferno mode changes, I don't think I'm going to be able to spot them as easily as, as I probably should. So one thing I will say is it's probably not the best thing in the world for me to have uh, a ranged weapon right now that actually requires uh, aiming. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing straight off the bat is that it drops the, the little molten lavas or whatever they are on the floor. Kind of like the, uh, is it the Profound Guardians or, or Providence? I think it's Providence, right? So I'm noticing that. So it looks like <laughs> we're not even that far in. Well, I thought we were. I thought we were further than we are. Oh, I forgot there's a worm. Oh, yeah. There's a whole thing to this. Okay, I'm butchering this a little bit. I was going to say I, I felt like we were far into it, but I don't think we are. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, so did I... I did make a dent on that. It did drop down, so I can do damage to both at the same time. The hive spews out a ton of lingering icor, so space management is key. Yeah, that... <laughs> you know what? Good advice, honestly. I think, to be honest, I think I'm going to make the pickaxe and grab Hellstone. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, so I've dug a long path to Hell. I've grabbed some Hellstone. And I'm only really doing the bare minimum here. Because I had a little look on the wiki. And I found a cool mage weapon called the Hellwing Staff. And I thought, I haven't heard of that before. Sounds kind of interesting. I mean, hopefully, if we use that, we won't have to rely too much on aiming. So, it's only 10 bars. And I was like, okay, that's, that's super easy to craft. So let's make a couple of bars. How many can we make? I think honestly, oh, 18. That's that's actually not bad. I thought it was going to be worse than that. Okay, so hell. Yeah, there it is. There it is. The Hellwing Staff. Yeah, cool. 24 magic damage um, casts flaming bats. So let's see this in action. Oh, yeah, that's glorious. That's exactly what we needed. Yeah, okay. That, that should be good. So I do have to to move my my helmet over. I have to, to get another one. I actually, I don't know if I... Oh, I can. Okay. Well, this is good. I was going to say we might have to um, to refight a boss or, or do some farming. In terms of uh, DPS and whatnot, I'm not exactly too sure how it's going, right? Because I'm, I'm not keeping too close of an eye on it. But I have a feeling it's probably going to be better once we get to that worm phase. Because we're actually dealing damage. Now, if I remember right, this thing charges left to right. Kind of like the Queen Bee. Uh, I'm not too certain what to do about the worm. I'm not paying too much attention to it. I'm just paying attention to the fact that this charge is left and right, and I'm balancing between two different platforms. Is this making a lot of sense to you? I don't know. We'll find out in the edit. <laughs> I'll find out real quick. This might be like 10 minutes of gibberish. Could easily be. I've been there before, all right? It's the backbone of this channel. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know if we're doing the right damage. That's what I'm worried about. That's my biggest insecurity with this. And I also don't know if I'm maybe meant to be taking out the worm first. Which would... Whoa. Okay, so I'm close to taking out a worm. Uh, now, I think there's a couple of worms with this fight. I don't think it's one. Okay, that worm is almost dead. <laughs> there you go. All right, finished up. Okay. Oh, no. No, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to get worse. I saw these uh, hearts drop from the worm and I was like, Oh, I'm going to be able to grab those, I'm sure. Okay, I really need to focus up here and uh, and try and focus on regaining some health then before the uh, the next worm comes in. Which I imagine is probably not going to be that long away. Okay, we got some rage here. Oh, he's a big boy. All right, okay, much bigger worm this time. Much, much bigger worm. Now, I was actually close to getting adrenaline then. So that does show you that uh, I am adapting a little bit better. Let me try to pick these up off the floor. I'd like them, please. Yeah, I I'm really glad we crafted this weapon because it's just... Just able to hit multiple parts at once, and I think that's going to help long term. Okay. So, got to remember this phase. I'm um, honestly, I mean, if we win this, I'd be really happy. Don't get me wrong. But I am almost treating this like the warm up uh, because I'm making some mistakes, which. There you go. I deserved it, right? I was making mistakes, which I, I know I can fix on the next one. So, I know now when the worm breaks, the. Um, I can never remember the name of anything in this game. I'm sorry. But when the enemies come down on the screen like an L. You know what I'm on about, right? You know what I'm talking about. You, you're 10 steps ahead. I, I can feel it. All right, so I've taken out the second worm now. So 
I imagine we probably have one final worm to do, if I remember right. I might not be. <laughs> so just gotta just gotta keep focused. Just gotta relax. It's been a it's been a couple of hours now of Trari today. So I am I am losing focus a little bit. Okay, well I, I butchered the start of that. We just have to remember that like we can't tank in this mod. We have to get good at dodging. Cause I imagine later on, this is all like uh you know, this is all lessons for later. <laughs> My new segment on the show. Uh, but like, yeah, like we're, we're getting away with um, tanking a bit now, but I just feel like it's a recipe for disaster. Like, what is this? What? <laughs> I did not know this was arriving and I'm not happy with it. Uh, <laughs> I just love it says it's still going. Yeah, I, oh my gosh, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> okay, it was so good it broke the game. I don't know about that one. <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, that, that that does it for today. That was real fun. Okay, tune in next time. Get subscribed if you haven't already. Because I'm coming back for you, Perforator. Like, you better believe.